Hey, this is Ralph, and uh, basically we just finished working on this script here where a person could mouse over several images in a stack and the image they mouse over will pop up to the front. I want to mess around with this a little bit more, so I want to tweak this a bit. So I've still got my page open, my image stacking page, and I want to go ahead and modify a little bit what we have. And I'm going to use some CSS transitions in order to, to make the effect just look a little, little bit cooler here. So I'm going to start off here and all my images are inside of anchor tags. So I'm going to go ahead and customize this a little bit and I'm going to go ahead and set within the collage all my anchor tags, all the images in this anchor tags, actually IMG, and I want to change this out so that I'm going to put a border on them. There we go. And I'm also going to set their opacity to just like 0.1, so they're almost invisible. So just a subtle little change there. Let's go ahead and see what that's going to do. So I'm going to save that, head over to my browser, refresh, all my images are faded out. And it's actually still functioning, which is hard to tell, because now I also want my images to go to solid, to a solid look when I mouse over them, so I've got to fix that. So I'm actually changing the opacity of my images. And with my script, I'm changing the style of the container for the images. Okay, So I do actually have to make another subtle little change here. And my images, do ha or my images don't have an ID, but their anchor tags do. And I'd like to put a little ID for each of my images. So I'm going to do this kind of fast here. I'll just do ID equals... Uh, um, pick one, there we go, and then I'll copy that, and I'm just going to run through, and I'm going to put unique IDs for my images, that's image pick five, pick four, pick three, and pick two, and I've got pick one still. Okay, so basically now when I hover over an image, I also want to do something else. Document.get element by ID. And then I want to take that particular picture, okay? So I'm going to say um, pick ID dot style dot opacity, and I'm going to set that to one, which is solid, okay? So I'm looking for another piece of information, pick ID. Before I was passing along the photo ID, now I need to pass along the pick ID. So let me go ahead and do a comma, pick ID. So photo ID is the ID that uniquely identifies my anchor tags. Pick ID is uniquely identifying my pictures. And then I'll go ahead and do this down here too. Pick ID. When I mouse out, I'll just do a little copy and paste. I'll change these back to 0.1. Okay, so I need to pass along the photo ID and the pick ID whenever I call a particular function. So let's see. In addition to calling photo one, I also need to put in pick one. And I'm going to do a little copying and pasting here. Copy, paste. And I'll just go ahead and copy, paste all of these. And then I'll go through and change them all, or update them all, really. Pick ID, four, four, five, five. Let me go and update these. There's pick five, pick five, pick four, pick four, pick three, pick three, oops, and pick two, pick two. So I'm sending this information to my functions. Let's see what happens now. So I've got it saved, head back over to the browser, refresh. And notice that my opacity is changing. So they start off very transparent. When I mouse over, they go to solid. And when I move away, they go back to transparent. So that's pretty cool. Let's enhance this just one bit more. I'm going to head up here. And whenever my images change, I'd like to do it gradually. So I'm going to go ahead and put in a CSS transition. I'm going to use the Moz CSS prefix for transition. And I'm going to change all characteristics, which is basically just my uh, opacity. And I'll do this over uh, one second, one S, and I'm going to do it linear, which means it's kind of a smooth, 
smooth speed for the transition from start to start to finish. The first part of the one second is just as fast as the latter part of the one second. Nice steady speed. Okay, make that save, refresh. There we go. So it just kind of smooths out that transition a bit by having it last one second instead of instant. Okay, so a much nicer effect. And that's basically using, really, CSS transitions to control the timing of how those images become clear or solid versus opaque.